in an edge group that maybe is not as deep as it was in previous years, there are obviously still quality players you can find down the board. Everyone pays attention to the big powerhouse schools, but one of the big sleepers in this edge class hails from Colorado State, and that is Muhammad Kamara. This is a guy who has been very productive for the Rams over the course of the last few seasons, and he also offers some very nice athletic upside. How high will he end up going in the 2024 NFL Draft? That is what we'll be going over in today's video. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys would like to see me talk about in a future video. But without further ado, let's take a closer look into Muhammad Kamara. Kamara has been ridiculously productive for Colorado State over the last two seasons. In 2022, Kamara finished the year with 35 hurries, 12 hits, and 6 sacks on the year and was a very big part of the Colorado State defense. His success continued in 2023 where he finished with 38 hurries, 12 hits, and 14 sacks on the year. He is a player who has thrived at finding ways to get to the quarterback and after a really solid combine and a good showing at the Shrine Bowl in Dallas, I think a lot of people are starting to really like Mohamed Kamara in this class. Kamara athletically is very impressive. He had one of the faster 40 yard dash times for the edge group and he also shows that on tape. Kamara explodes off the line of scrimmage and he is relentless in his effort to get to the quarterback. He is super athletic, explosive, and quick to the quarterback and I absolutely love that about his game. Kamara generates this explosiveness into power, which is one of his best pass rush traits. He has the ability to just power over people, and I love to see that from him. He is very strong as well at the point of attack, so I love that about Kamara's game. Kamara is very physical, and he loves to fight through contact. One thing that really impressed me about his game is how relentless he is, but he also showcased some very active hands. He seemed to be always trying to set up a pass rush move, and it worked. He knew how to get into the backfield, how to leverage himself, and how to make a play, which I absolutely loved about his game. He plays with an extremely high motor and is a very physical edge rusher. As good as Kamara is as a pass rusher, he also showed his ability to set the edge as a run defender, which is always an added bonus. He's able to defend the run and rush the passer, and he's a pretty complete player in those regards. Kamara is a tad undersized at the edge rush position, standing at 6'1", 250 pounds. However, it's really not an area that I'm super concerned with. He plays such a quick and physical brand of football that it almost makes up for what he lacks in size. One thing I was a bit surprised with was his wingspan measurements being only 78 and a half inches. He looks a lot bigger than that on tape, so that is very interesting to see. I'm going to be curious to see how it affects him at the NFL level. Another thing that I didn't love so much about Kamara is a lack of pass rush moves. He seems to heavily rely on his power and his quickness, and I would like to see him do a better job at creating some pass rush moves and leveraging himself on a more consistent basis. He has the first step down and active hands, but I would love to see what he could do with a consistent swim or an up and under move. The last area he can improve is inconsistencies in his stance. Kamara has the tendency to play a bit high at times, and because of this, it leads to him playing off balanced. When he gets met with resistance and a hard block, it can knock him off of his stance. I think his stance and his balance are the last couple areas I would like to see him improve. Kamara has a lot to offer as a pass rusher, but he still feels like a bit of a project. But this is a project I am willing to take a gamble on. I love his motor, and he plays hard on every single down, and those are the type of players I want in my locker room. He is my number 11 edge rusher in the 2024 NFL Draft. I'm a big fan, and I could see him having a nice long career. He is my number 140 player in the draft class. Kamara is an interesting player who played primarily over the tackle at the collegiate level. I think this is an area where he could continue to thrive in the NFL 
as a true edge in a 4-3. But due to his athleticism and his lack of size, I could definitely see a team opting to make him an outside linebacker in a 3-4. I think he offers some nice positional versatility, which I really like. My player comparison for Mohamed Kamara is Yannick Ngakwe. Yes, he has been a bit of a journeyman in his career, but Ngakwe is a player who knows how to get to the quarterback and is always towards the top of the league in terms of sacks. He is strong, has solid quickness, and based off size alone, they are very comparable. I think Kamara could have a very similar impact at the NFL level. Muhammad Kamara has a high motor. He is strong, he is quick, and he offers a ton of upside. I think he can be a legit stud at the NFL level, and ultimately, I believe that Muhammad Kamara will be an early day 3 pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.